Ava from Sacramento has a question for Jules. You made a few menopause jokes about these ladies and you took the hits from them in their blogs. Bethany said, you can't get upset at people talking about your weight if you go in on their age. Carol said, why all the slights about women's age? It was a joke, you know, just like... Well, there were several, not just that one. That and the You said your mother think... doesn't act like that. You made a mother joke, like, we're your, yeah. we're your mother. I mean, it was not the same much moments. Different age. I mean, it's not like we're completely when you call different me for generations. Ramona, when I you could be your Ramona mother. to talk about Dorinda, and yeah, I was... I'm 51. She's 33. Okay, you said that I had a... 35. Special needs. No, but there is almost a 20-year difference. No, it's exactly 15. 15 isn't 20. No, she's your how old? 52? Almost 53? Yeah. And she's 35, so it's 18 years. So that's, you know, that's a big difference. Whatever. It was a joke, okay? Julie from Studio City, California wants to know, Bethany, last season you laughed off comparing yourself to a homeless person, yet this season you took offense to Jules' menopausal medication comment. Why are you the only one that can say controversial things and label them as jokes? I'm not the only one. You can dish it out, but you can't take the heat. Is that it? I get it. Maybe. I don't I don't think that, but I get it. I mean, I, I like to be made like fun that. of. Listen, if something is funny, it plays. If it's not funny, it doesn't play. If you're dishing it out about menopausal medication, then you should be able to deal with someone talking about your weight. I wasn't me. I wasn't part of that volume. No, but that's a different level. I was making a joke. My weight is my eating disorder. Jules, at the dinner at Joanne's, you finally reached your breaking point with Bethany. I mean, what made you snap that night? I'm not a confrontational person at all. It's been three months of building up, you know? Like, I felt alienated by both Carol and, and Bethany, but more Bethany because I was closer to her. I've been speaking to Dorinda, and she told me to stick up for myself. They were being very uh, dismissive of Jules. She presented something that was very sensitive, and they kind of ran with it. She would come to me and be more and more hurt and crying about it, and I said, you need to start sticking up for yourself and go tell them what kind of problem but what you were you have. Hearing? And I said that, was, and I'll say it hearing? again. There was a, there was a bunch of things hearing? I didn't know. It, like, it was a culmination of a lot of things. Yeah, it was a lot of problems. Exactly. Problem. I would never parent by bribery. Well, well by the way, Let's, okay, go, well, let's go to let's that go. for a second, because as New Yorkers, as New York women, and Jules is talking very much about being Jewish, uh -huh. and I don't think that you represented a very positive side of being Jewish at all. I don't think talking about having a potty trainer for $2,000, saying that you're going straight to hell by washing your hands in ice book, telling your nanny to wait on, on, a, on, a, on a, a sample sale line. Are you comfortable waiting on lines? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's really big. <laughs> I am not waiting on the Bonpoint sample sale. Take a joke. Don't you let go, Bethany. Don't you just have fun and just say whatever you want to say? Not that, no. I think he was making fun of Jews. Kool-Aid no, and all that, a taking joke. a Bethany, don't stick. you dare say that I don't represent Jews the I, right way. I don't think you do. I'm allowed I, to say I'm whatever sorry. I want. This is that my is time, too. That is so horrible and so wrong. You can't say that. But you just I can't. Just I, can't. I, I can do whatever I want, Sonia. Oh, my God. What's wrong with you, Bethany? You can do whatever you want, but I'm telling you, you're going to look bad.